Thank you for joining me and welcome to this week's plan with me session. This week we'll be doing the 12th through the 18th. If you all are here with me for the very first time, my name is Therese. I'm known as a paper lover. I absolutely love to do digital planning and I understand that it's important for me to plan because it organizes my day, my life, and everything about me actually works well when I'm more organized. Planning and um, organizes me and allows me to do a lot of those things that I totally forgot about. I'm one of those people that I'll write it down and then I forget where I put it. But now that I'm being accountable to myself, I'm actually able to source those things that I've written down, those things I've desired to do. And that's what I want to share with you today. So again, welcome for joining me for this week's plan with me session. This week we'll be working on the Sunday, the 12th through the 18th. I'm in a little bit of the 19th, but definitely the 12th through the 18th. I actually use good notes on my iPad to digital plan as well as a physical planner. It's the same exact thing. It's, the only difference is if you have the physical planner, it is a two page spread where the digital planner is a one page spread. Now what I'm going to do too is I'm actually going to incorporate uh, my monthly planner, which is this where I'm able to, you know, put this and write it out and put it on my wall so that I can really see at a glance on the wall because I'm always trying to figure out what day it is. So I actually designed this to actually um, write it all out and then print it where it's really pretty and I can look and see what the dates are. This I actually made in Adobe InDesign and I do have a course so I'm gonna teach you how to make this. So if you wanna be a part of that, absolutely. Um, click on the link to go to my online school to learn that. Now, let's get into the digital planning. So I went ahead and put all of those three calendars that I use. I use um, National Day Calendar brownie locks and calendar 365 and i will put a link um to my blog where you'll be able to go and see all of those dates that i put onto one um one page because it gets to be kind of confusing it gets to be kind of um, tedious and all about digital planning and planning in general is it should make your life easier not harder but for me trying to get all three of those calendars into one location I took the time to just do it all for you because it was easier for me to do it for myself. And I want to give that to you to help you organize your day and your life a little bit better. So today is the 12th and I'm going to go and open up my phone. Today is um, September the 12th. And some of the things that we have are video games day, chocolate milkshake day. That's a really good one. Uh, we have a national day of encouragement, national report Medicaid fraud day, <laughs> pet memorial day, national hug your hound day national grandparents day i love grandparents day so that's actually what i said to do for national grandparents day and all i'm going to simply do is write down national grandparents day and so the reason for me writing it down onto my bigger calendar and versus me putting it into here it's the same thing i already have it written there but this is just going to allow me to actually work it out and then put it into a digital space sometimes there are people that do both the physical planner and the digital planner for me i think i like to do both because i want to actually flip through something and see it but i actually want to work it out and build the content in here so the, let me give you a little bit about who I am and how I plan. So what I do is I'm a content creator and an influencer. So I have to always have something to talk about on social media. And sometimes I don't really have anything business-wise to talk about. So I use the national calendar to coordinate things to talk about on social media. So for example, today is National Grandparents Day. So I'm going to post a picture of my mom and dad and wish them a national ha happy grandparents day. And I'm gonna use the national, I'm gonna use the national hashtag, national grandparents day. What that's gonna do is that's gonna be able to create me, create me a little bit of buzz because I'm using the hashtag of national grandparents day. And it's gonna allow people to see my page, my feed, and then hopefully come back and find some followers. And even, you know, they may wanna come back and connect with me, you know, on a more professional level where they may purchase something of some of my items. So that's why I use hashtags. So I'm definitely gonna do that. And I've already done that on here. If I were to do this on my physical planner, I would just open up to that same exact day and do the same thing on the 12th. I would simply just write National Grandparents Day. But this and this is basically the same thing. So the 13th, let's see what we have for the 13th. And once I build all this out, I'll go back and make it all pretty. I'm more of a functional planner versus a pretty planner. So tomorrow is the 13th. We have Uncle Sam Day. Um, National Bold is Beautiful Day. We have National Day of Program. National Boss or Employee Exchange Day. 
national kids take over the kitchen day that would be a really cute day for you to post a video or do something like a kid friendly recipe that'd be really cute international chocolate day international programmers day um then we have peanut day oh scooby-doo day and then positive thinking day national hug your boss day not appropriate because of covid i think i like the idea of doing national kids take over the kitchen day and all i would do at that point is i would use my my apple pencil and it has not been charged so if you ever wonder how to charge an apple pencil and it's not connected just simply plug it in give it a second and then but let's see allow it to connect so now that it's connected i'm going to go to september the 13th and i'm just going to click on my pencil my pen make sure i put it down about 0 0.3 0 0.4 and i'm just going to write down kids take over the kitchen day and i'm going to type right in kids and I, that's too thick so i'm just going to make it a little bit thinner and zoom in a little bit more and put kids take over the kitchen day and with that i'm gonna do a recipe card oops and my handwriting is awful today so that's gonna be a really cute one for that day so now that day is done i don't have to do it on this because i'm actually doing it on my physical on my digital and i can go back and do it on that one later so for the 14th that is I'm going to be on Tuesday. Of course, I can always do a Teachable Tuesday moment because my Tuesdays are always Teachable Tuesdays. Uh, it's live creative day. How about I do a live post on that day? So I can do live creative day. Or I can do, um, let's see. It's National Parents Day Off Day, Eva Hoagie Day, Virginia Day. I like the idea of live creative day or I can do parents day off day or parents day off day. So on the 15th, we have national cheese toast day, national Linguini day, felt hat day. I think that's going to be a really cute. I'm trying to figure out what can I do with a felt hat? That would be pretty cute. I could probably cut something with my Cricut machine or my silhouette with that one. Um, national online learning day. I like that one. So I'm going to put National Online Learning Day. And then for the 16th, I have National Play-Doh Day, National Cinnamon Raisin Bread Day, National Guacamole Day, National Step Family Day, National Working Parents Day, Mayflower Day, National Paw Paw Day. Um, then we have, if you're wondering where I'm getting these from, I'm using um, brownielocks.com, national365, and then national nationalcalendar.com. Stay away from Seattle Day, trail, um, let's see, Collect Rock, Working Parents Day. We could feature Working Parents, or we can do National Play-Doh Day. I think National Play-Doh Day would be kind of cute. That's a kid one, or National Cinnamon Raisin Bread Day. That's a food thing. I haven't done anything with food lately. Mm, mm, day of listening. Day of listening. International Day of Preservation of the Ozone Layer. Step Family Day. You know, we could probably do National Step Family Day. So National and I like to call it Blended Families. That would be a really good one. Or we could even do, yeah, I think National, I think National um, Blended Family Day would might work. And then the 17th, we have National Professional House Cleaners Day. I think I want to focus on that. I would love to feature the lady that used to clean my house. I'm going to reach out to her for that. And then the other one is Bright Pink Lipstick Day. So we have Bright and my handwriting is awful. So let me show you something else that I can do with my iPad, which is one of the reasons why I like to use it. I'm gonna change my font to Bodoni. I'm gonna put my font on about an 18. 
and just tap on it. And then I'm gonna put, what was it called? Bright paint, let's see what it's bright. And I'm just gonna simply write B-R-I-G-H-T pink lipstick. And that's it. That's one of the reasons why I like to use this because I'm able to then shrink it down, do all kind of stuff with it. So if you are not really good with your handwriting, which my handwriting sometimes is awful because I'm rushing, um, it is a nice way of doing it. And I'm gonna build that out and show you exactly how to build that out in one second. And then number 18 will be Air Force Day, National Cheeseburger Day, HIV Awareness and Aging Awareness Day, National Dance Day, National Gymnastics, Girl Boys Day, National Cleanup Day, Batman Day, um, Big Whopper, Whopper Liar Day. <laughs> they got some crazy ones. Hug a Greeting Card Rider Day. I'm going to do that because I make cards. I'm a station designer, so we're going to definitely use that one. So I'm going to go and do that one. And again, I'm going to go and change my font. And there is a way for me to set that. I'm just being a little bit, not doing it right now. But I'm going to go and put in and type in hug a greeting card writer day. And it didn't really get it all right, so let me go and fix it. And if you don't know how to use your keyboard on, uh, you have to just simply hold down your space bar and use it like a mouse. And then I'm just gonna go and backspace. And this should be greeting card, W-R-I-T-E-R -E day. And this should be hug and then a space. And then all I'm gonna do from there is just click on this and then move it around. I'm going to resize it to be where I want it. And then that is all the way to the week. Now I'm gonna build this one out because I have some stationary things to go along with this. So I'm actually gonna show you how I build this out. So this particular day is the 17th. I actually have a client who has launched her own station. I actually have a client who has launched her own lipstick and I'm gonna feature her on this particular day because I love the stationery that I made for her. I'm simply gonna walk you out. So I'm gonna find the stationery and put everything in there. So I'm gonna click on my pictures. Here it is. And here is the bright pink. And I'm gonna do a whole entire post based on that. So I'm gonna go and click on it and hold it and I'm going to copy it and click on copy. And I'm going to then go to the social media page until I find the 17th. And here it is. And I'm going to go and drop it on my set page with my social media. And here it is. And this is going to allow me to build out what that campaign is going to be for today. And it's going to be called National, oops, National Bright pink lipstick day and on this particular day i'm going to do two things i'm going to show how i made the stationery i'm going to show how i made the logo and how i actually did this so i have a video that i'm going to present on three different ways of how i did that so if you want to learn more about that i'm going to do another video and show you how to do that so Again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to please, always forget to do this. Please, if you like the content I'm sharing, please like, follow, and subscribe to my channel, please, because I'm trying to grow my channel. So, and share, share it with people that you may want, that you may think that will be interested in what I have to offer. And again, thank you for joining me this week. I am done with my planning for the week. I have done all the stuff for this particular week, which will be uh, September the. I've done all the planning for this week, which was September the 12th through the 18th. And thank you for watching me. And I'm gonna, my favorite day this week is gonna be on the 17th. I'm really gonna build that campaign out. So thank you all for joining me again. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.